Area 21 update. Let's go. Look at that. So they've been working on the bin. I have a bunch of pictures and videos, but this is just me talking about it. They got 15 rings on right now. I'm gonna go climb to the top, check it out. Uh, they got four more rings to put on. They'll, they'll probably have this baby done tomorrow. So this will be sweet. We made it. And this isn't even as tall as it's gonna be. Four more rings. That's like it's almost another 16 feet. Golly! Well, here's the view. You can see the whole farm. Look at that. Beautiful. They got this nice platform up here with the railing the stairs on all our other bins we always had the rungs you gotta crawl up these not very safe and so these are nice don't let go jack i'll never let go i still can't go over the fact this is gonna be four more rings taller and then the leg is gonna be even taller oh boy I'm gonna have to do some, some, some running.
the first bend. It is up completely, height-wise. Yeah, still have to do all the millwright work and all the floor work and all that. Man, this is about the same height as what the old leg was over there. And then our new leg is going to be another 30, 40 feet taller than this bend yet. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Two bins up, one to go. What is going on guys? Today we are looking at the bend site update video. You saw the montage, the drone footage. Here we are going to do a talking update. So right now it is June 14th and they have the two big bins done. They got the overhead bin built and they've got the wet bin built. Here we are on the east side of the bin site. This is with an all open area. This is for future expansion. But you can see they got fans on, unloads, doors on both these bins. Let's hop in one and check out the floor. Suka always got these nice doors. Much better than the old storm bars. Would you look at that? Floor is done. They got the paddle sweep in. These things are awesome. You gotta watch a video of these. So much better than a screw sweep, screw conveyor sweep. So I cannot wait to see this thing in action. But this is completely done. That there is the uh, baffles for the side draw, all gravity fed. Look at this monster. Echo! Just gonna walk around right now. It's a big bin, my goodness. Wow, that is quite the echo. Uh, that does not look very fun to climb. So underneath these augers, we'll have a reclaim that'll run all the way down here. And I believe it'll run straight down to the dryer pad, connect into the dryer somehow. Not actually connect into the dryer, but the dryer one will come down and then this will run underneath of it and up to the leg. Now this, this guy does not go here. Uh, they just use this concrete pad to uh, build the bin on it. This is the overhead bin I'm always talking about, super excited about. 
it's gonna hold just under 3,000 bushels so never had one before this thing is gonna be night and day it's gonna be awesome and then here's what we call the seattle space needle the mega super skinny tall this is the wet bin it's gonna hold about 60,000 bushel and uh they're still working on this one i think they gotta wait for the the auger for this one the unload auger okay if i fall it's on video and we can laugh about it if i don't go to the hospital okay we made it okay so here's the pit uh they got the main pit poured there's gonna be a big uh few trough conveyor it's gonna come through here when it gets to that point there'll be a big elbow i'm assuming there will be a ladder so we can get down in there and then this is where the uh, double dump will go so there'll be the grate up there another one there this is where we'll pull the truck up be able to dump both hoppers and then it'll come down and dump into the conveyor that runs this way up to the leg these four pillars right here is where the overhead stand's going to go and then the overhead bin goes on top of it also we put another pit in here as kind of a secondary pit so i don't know how big this one will be but there'll be a pit over here so theoretically we will be able to dump two trucks at one time okay so this is the dryer pad so this is where the dryer is going to go there's one section two three four and then way down there is the top so somebody asked me in one of the previous videos uh why do we dry corn well the reason we dry corn there's two main reasons uh the first is wet corn uh causes spoilage mold and stuff like that so we usually dry corn to below 15 percent and that way it stores for a longer period of time uh, i might pull up a chart to show you how long it can store grain at certain moisture levels and you can see how big of a difference it makes between 18 22 percent versus 15 or below the other reason we dry corn is basically market moisture processors so ethanol plants food processors and feed mills uh, they essentially don't want to buy water so there's a sweet spot right about that 15 percent that's the perfect moisture level for corn and they're, they're they want that at 15 percent so they can get the most use out of it typically during harvest corn sits at about 17 to 24 25 at the highest around here usually 17 to 22 percent and then we essentially dry everything down to about 15 percent i'm like the pg-13 of julian from trailer park boys he's always sipping on stuff i'm just sipping on my dr pepper so that's essentially it for the update to my understanding we'll be finishing up some floors getting the pit stuff in i think they're gonna start jacking the dryer up here so this will be very interesting to say the least anyways guys thank you so much for all the support thanks for watching make sure you hit that like button if you like what you're seeing and as always We'll see you in the funnies.